The other day, I discovered something that changed my life for the better in every single way possible. Let's watch. I just had to know more. What is this fantastic anime? I need to know more. Motopatlu, which of course means many friendships in Indian. It's an Indian animation cartoon featured on Nickelodeon. So that's how you know it's top quality. Nickelodeon have all the classics. And now they have Motopatlu. One of the greatest creations of Nickelodeon since the 90s. Now, India doesn't really have the best track record right now online. There's the Reddit. People writing very intellectual comments like Your boobs very big. I'm kiss your boobs. Hello dear, how big is your pussy? Um, very nice pic. Send me naked the pics. No, you bitch. Hello, bitch lasagna. But Motopadlo really rectifies the Indian presence online because my god, it is one of the finest piece of art that we have in our culture ever. Motopadlo has really changed a lot of my perception, not just of anime, but life itself and why I'm living it. Motopatlu can transcend any form of media, any form of art, because Motopatlu is the greatest thing that has ever happened. Now, let me explain Motopatlu for you if you're not familiar with Motopatlu. Alright, Moto is Basically, this slightly overweight man, he's obsessed with eating Samucha. It's the Szechuan sauce of the animation world, okay? The Samucha is the greatest thing of all time. Moto just can't have enough of the Samucha. No matter what Moto needs, the Samucha, the Samucha, or Sakhmucha. Basically, the Samucha serves as a sort of a Deus Ex Machina for e each episode. Moto and Patlo they get in trouble. Uh, Pato eats Patlo, the thin guy on the left. He's basically one punch man. I mean, let's get real, the, re the resemblance is- you can't miss it. This is a clear form of a cultural appropriation, India is stealing Japanese culture. I'm not a fan of it at all, it actually makes me quite upset. But the show's general quality just overweighs any form of microaggression and cultural appropriation. <laughs> There's also uh, some clear references into the YouTube swear in the world of Mutu Patlo, where Patlo uh, draws resemblance from iDub's famous series Content Cup. Now, there are of course some a bit more disappointing references and uh, influences in Motopatlo. It, it clearly panders to the alt-right and a lot of people haven't picked up on it. But to anyone woke as me, it will not pass your eye. You are great scientist, Moto. Look, Moto, you, you tell me if that's not Hitler in the back, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Look, he turns over to the camera and looks into us. He's breaking the fourth wall. Hitler is alive inside of Moto Paolo. He didn't escape to Colombia. He's alive and well inside this animation. It all makes sense. Now, I don't think I have to explain the irony of what is going on here. But that's, to some people, this might just be like any normal cartoon for kids. But for the open eye, you know what it resembles. Now, despite any form of cultural and philosophical 
influences Motupatlu is to its very core, just a fine animation. It is probably one of the greatest animations I have ever seen. And it makes Pixar look like trash. Just straight up garbage. Tatoki Sampurna Surakshakili is the Malkare Jeremy Garmi plus toothpaste. Ding ding ding! Kya aap ki dat? It's the kind of anime that pays attention to any form of detail. Here we have a toothpaste as the devil. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. You see that? That's fine animation, and uh, most people probably wouldn't even bother animating. The crocodile, but Motopatla goes out of his way to make it the finest. Anywhere your eyes go in the animation, you know they will be pleased. Look at that shaving foam. That looks like shaving foam. Of course it does. Some of the trickier animations, as perhaps a man leaving a car, Motopatla had done excellently. <laughs> <laughs> but really what Motopatlu does better than anyone else is the eyes. They say the eyes are the window of the soul and Motopatlu indeed manages to capture that essence perfectly. Look at those eyes, okay? They really nailed the eyes part in Motopatlu. Look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. My god, look at those eyes. Now a lot of people also picked up on the very clear romance between Moto and Patlo. I mean, let's get real here. When you have a man as thick as Moto, it would be hard to keep your hands away. Look at that ass. Excuse me, Marcia, step aside, Moto. Mode boat that ass. Can we play that slowly again, please? Oh, yes Now this is what I'm talking about and this is on kids shows kids are watching this I know that's what you're thinking But it's okay because it's nice to see an anime being progressive in a third world country, okay? <laughs> These people love each other <laughs> Look at them. That's the eyes of love. They say you can tell if someone loves someone by looking into their eyes and how they look at them. It's nice to see a progressive anime for kids that teaches you that it's okay for another man to love another man as long as it's Christian. It also never gives you the full satisfaction of the love. You know, the hints are there, but you do get some tendencies with other people involved. Uh, for example, here. Oh, that's what I like. That's what I like to see. Thank you very much. The last thing I want to touch upon with Motopatlu is that I watch way too many of these episodes and I don't understand any of it. It's really confusing. I don't really know why they're even memes. The memes are pretty stale in general. I don't, I don't really get it, but if you scroll down to the comments, you're gonna get a lot of nices. Okay, a nice, a nice, and a nice. And a very nice, Ebby. And a nice video, and a nice episode, and a nice, and a nice, and it's a very nice, and nice, and nice, ha ha ha, nice. What have we learned here today? That Motopatlo is the greatest anime of all time, 100%. Thank you for watching, leave a like. Hopefully I can do more Motopatlo analysts, and analyze breakdowns in the future.